This segment brought to you in association with Burger King. Sports time now. We join Mark Seal live in the Sports Center. Good evening, Mark. Seems like the Wendy's can't get a win to save their lives. I, and I had hope early on, you know. We really got off you. to a flyer. You. <laughs> yes, you had hope. I had hope. I did. The Wendy's have again fallen to India once again, this time in today's third One Day International at Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad. Electing to bat first, the Wendy's innings was reduced to 35 overs due to rain, and they made a 244 7 in that time. Chris Gale, in presumably his last ODI innings, was dismissed for 72 of 41 deliveries with eight fours and five sixes, while Evan Lewis made 43 of 29 with five fours and three sixes. Those two put on 115 for the first wicket. Well, India had a revised target of 255 off 35 overs, and they got home 256 for four off 32.3, to win by six wickets under the DLS method. India's captain Virat Kohli was the top batsman again, this time with 114 not out with 14 fours, while Shirazir, he added 65. India win the series 2-0 with the first match being abandoned. In more cricket news, it was day one of the second Ashes test between England and Australia, but it was totally washed out. Day two will begin at 6 a.m. Barbados time, live coverage on MCTV's channel 308. But it was also the first day of a test match between New Zealand and Sri Lanka and honours were shared on day one of their first test in the ICC World Test Championship. Playing in goal, New Zealand batted after winning the toss and are 203 for a five at stumps. Ross Taylor is on 86, while Akila Dananjaya has so far taken all five wickets for 57 runs. The 10-year legal battle between the Barbados Cricket Association and Cage Barbados Inc. is over, meaning that the BCA and other sporting organizations now stand to benefit from millions of dollars from the operation of video lottery terminal systems. Gregory Nichols, the chairman of the BCA's Lottery and Gaming Committee, made the announcement today at a media conference about the new 20-year agreement. We knew agreement 2019 going forward will put the lottery beneficiaries turf club sports council olympic association cultural foundation and the barbers Creek association in a situation where we will receive approximately and this is estimated at about eight million dollars in additional revenue into our sports and cultural development in this island. And it would be remiss of me if I did not thank the Right Honourable Prime Minister, Mia Motley, and Minister of Finance for listening to the representations made by the BCA and the other lottery partners that the Turf Club and the Olympic Association um, for lobbying for a leveling of the playing field in relation to the operation of video lottery terminals because the relationship or, or I should say the, the market um, has been skewed a little bit in our view towards the slot machine operators which operate for profit whereas the sporting organization and the cultural foundation um, operate for the benefit of the people of Barbados. Now, Chairman of CAGE, Robert Washington, outlined how all the stakeholders will benefit from this new contract. On a full state base, it should generate uh, between 8.8 .8 and 10 million U.S. dollars a year for the National Sporting Organization. It should generate approximately 16 to 17 million dollars a year for the government uh, because it's a 17 and a half percent tax, 12 percent will go to the sporting organization and the balance uh, remains uh, in the treasury. So it's a significant amount of money uh, and it will be paid. We've started to make the first, we've made the first three payments for um, May, June and July. Um, and, uh, and it will be paid every month on or about the 15th of the month. And so we think that, uh, that the VLT project will generate that kind of money 